This is Eric from Final Cut Studio School, and I had a question about traveling Luma mats in Final Cut Pro, so this is a quick tip to show you all what those are all about. The first thing we need to do is get a custom gradient, okay? So hit Command F and type in custom gradient or gradient in the search field here and, and hit find all. Now this will bring up a separate search window with the effect you're looking for. You can show it in your browser, you can remove it from your project, whatever you want to do. But anyways, there it is. I'm going to take it, I'm going to drag it down to the second track of my timeline here. Okay? Now I'm going to double click it and load it in the viewer. As you can see, we have this gradient, this custom gradient. Now I've made it like this. You can go to your controls tab and adjust your angle. You can use your this little gradient angle adjustment to adjust the gradient any way you want. I'm going to set it to about negative 25 degrees right up here in the corner like that okay and then I'm gonna click my start plus go over here to the in the center of my canvas and kind of adjust this up a little bit towards about like right there like that okay okay now we've got this custom gradient I'm gonna use this custom gradient to describe to you an ex uh, a demonstration of what uh, traveling luma mat is okay so now I'm gonna go over and find me a clip I'm going to get bikers to see which one we got here. Bikers downhill, that looks pretty good. I'm going to take it and lay it on top of my gradient, like so. Now we have this, these bikers riding downhill, as you can see, and up here in the upper left, it's black. It's black, and you want to know why it's black? Because I right-clicked on my bikers downhill track scroll down to composite mode and selected travel mat luma if I do it normal this is what you'll see when you first lay your track over your gradient right click on your clip go to composite mode travel mat luma and that will shine this through like that right there now it's, it shows black but it's really transparent and if I click up here and go down to checkerboard you can see right here that it's kind of just it's transparent it's not really black okay so now what we're going to want to do is I want to want to lay a clip on top of this so I'm going to take this this biker over the hill here and I want to take it and lay it on the first track underneath underneath the, the custom gradient and now as you can see because we turned the top clip into a travel mat luma when I scroll through here the biker comes over top of the people coming down the hill and you can double click your custom gradient go back into controls and you can control it while looking at it as you can see I can bring it down here and let it overlap a little bit more which is I like that right there this would make for a good documentary or commercial or something or uh, some kind of charity drive as you can see the people coming down the hill and he's transparent going over top of it like that right there you know, it's a pretty cool little effect. Looks good, looks professional, and it's all done using traveling Matt Lumas. If you want me to discuss any more blend modes, please get a hold of me. This has been Eric Meek for Final Cut Studio School with another quick tip for you, and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.